Hey folks, it's Friday around noon time, and I thought I'd pop on and say hello and do a quick little blog. And uh, I wanted to thank everybody again for all the kind notes and messages from the first audio blog encouraging me to continue this, so I am. Um, this morning was a little strange because, as you know, um, Randy Pausch passed away this morning. And I spent a good amount of time kind of reflecting. Um, I'm sure you know who he is, but he's the one that wrote the last lecture and kind of caused this phenomenon. But um, I spent some time kind of reflecting, and um, I did a little bit more research. I've read the book, and I'm not sure if you've actually seen his personal blog. Um, it's been inundated with traffic this morning, so it's a bit hard to get to. But it's really interesting because here you have this gentleman who, um, in the face of this, of this you know, battle for his life has retained such humility and um, I think it's most striking in his blog and if you can find it I think you can just Google his name and his blog or blog and you'll find it but um, what's most striking is how simple um, and poignant his messages are and his updates I mean it's just it's so amazing to me how heroic each and every one of you are in this struggle um, and it's kind of it's heartbreaking and inspiring at the same time um, a number of his blogs contain good news and bad news um, you know I kind of tire of hearing people complain about I think the most ridiculous things um, you know they catch a really bad flu or a really bad cold and you know you you would think that death had overcome them where you know, the things that we normally go through during treatment are obviously just far different. I wouldn't say far worse. They're just far different. And in Randy's blog, you can see um, a number of postings where he explains that he has had um, failure in his organs, um, his heart, his liver, um, being hospitalized, um, so many things, watching his CEA go up. Um, everything really not going well but with everything taking it with a grain of salt and it made me really realize one of the amazing changes I know I went through was um, my entire life I kind of looked at decisions I'm a very logical person but I looked at decisions um, kind of basing it on whether or not I'd make the right decision or the wrong decision and come you know that moment when you're diagnosed everything changes and you realize that it is decisions that you make that are more on the level of um, which is going to make you feel less shitty between the two. So it's really not right or wrong decision. It's horrible versus horrific or um, very painful versus not as painful. And I think our scale changes and our perspective changes. And um, this disease is so um, insidious in that it changes the core of your being and everything feels so different. And I think one thing that I am so thankful for is the support that I got through treatment, um, helping me realize that it is all about perspective, which is easy to say when you um, are looking from a good place. The harder task, I suppose, is looking at these challenges when you're not in a good place. So again, um, I just want to say thank you to everybody and a heartfelt um, and deep respect for, I think, so many people out there that make us think differently about our lives, whether or not it's somebody who has a book on the New York Times bestseller list like Randy or each of you when you post your blogs. So um, thank you for helping me stay grounded and reflective, and we'll talk soon.